Hey folks, Dave the Not So Evil Evil Viking 13 here, and welcome to a new Fallout 4 custom Let's Build project. You guys are getting in at the ground floor, uh, pun intended, here at Sunshine Tidings Co op, which is where I'm going to be making a build that you guys have been requesting for quite a while, and it's been on my list for quite a while. I am going to be building a Minutemen boot camp. As you guys are probably well aware, one of the greatest yeah. uh, perks of having the Minutemen around is being able to pop that flare into the air and get some help when you need it. Whether your settlement is actually allied with the Minutemen or not, you put a flare up, they'll come help. And of course you guys have seen all of my ridiculous Fallout builds focused around the Minutemen, but the question you guys have been asking is, where do all these new trained Minutemen come from? So, I'm going to go into workshop mode here, and we're going to start answering that question, because obviously my headquarters over at the castle had a parade ground, but didn't quite have the space for actually training new recruits. And boy, have I gone through some recruits fighting off attacks. Okay. First of all, I've modded my I and I files here on PC to stop the icons spinning, which makes the menus so much faster to go through. It's awesome. Some of them are still glitched, but that's okay. I go through the wood options here. And what we're gonna do to start things off is we're going to start walling in this compound. What I'm thinking is, this central building right here is going to be part of the headquarters building. I think I'm going to build it out. I had this one piece right here. I'm going to build it out over in this direction and might make it my first totally concrete structure. Make it like the commander's headquarters for the training facility. And the reason that I've chosen Sunshine Tidings as my location for this build is because of all the ranger cabins. It's already set up basically like a summer camp of some kind. And they're going to be our barracks for the training camp. I'm going to start by going to fences and let's check out the options that we have for junk fences. And I do have a mod that makes these snappable. I just want to see... Whew, yeah. How far we're going to have to go. This is going to be a lot of walls. I have unlocked the settlement size. Hopefully that will update here in a second as we start building. But I also don't want to totally kill my FPS with a gigantic wall. But I do think a wall is necessary to keep everyone safe here. And thanks to place everywhere, I can just clip this corner piece right outside of the build area. And unlike my secret vault at Ten Pines Bluff, I won't be doing that very often, but it's nice to have the option. can also turn off the workshop countdown timer. Let's just start building this out. I'm using, of course, different pieces to help break up the repetition in the wall. And any time that it doesn't want to cooperate with the snapping, I can just turn it off, thanks to place everywhere, and keep on going. Also got these really cool looking tall pieces which are floating for now, but I'll go back around and fix those later. I'll put those tall pieces right there just in case someone tries to climb up that tree. <laughs> that skinny little tree. How's the view from up here? Oh, well, that's not bad. 
And it's probably time for a gate, so I'm going to use just one of these small ones for up here. Again, turning off snapping so I can actually get it where I want it. Seeing that piece next to it is floating. So as I'm building the wall, let me talk through what else I want to have here. We're going to have our bunk houses, obviously. We're going to have a mess hall. We're going to have that officer's quarters. We're going to have a shooting range for training, as well as a, not parade ground, but more of a <laughs> drill square. Kind of clips with the rock, but that's okay. What else are we going to have? Like I said, you guys are basically getting in at the uh, ground floor here. So I'm kind of thinking out loud as I start this. Hmm, that's going to float a bit. Let's do this. Possibly a classroom section, too. So they can learn their U.S. and Minutemen history. Yeah. If we can find some room for it. A classroom section. These walls are a bit of a pain to work with. Because of... Uh, the snapping, actually. I know snapping's useful most of the time, but in this case, with this weird terrain, it's a uh, bit of a pain. Wow, that was seriously floating. I'll just come back and fix that later. It's gonna take too long. Speaking of taking too long, I'm gonna get this wall over to this point. You guys are getting the idea here. And then we're gonna take a break from the wall and perhaps work on the command bunker next. I'm imagining some kind of taller watchtower for a couple of the corners. Hmm. This outhouse is kind of exposed here, but I do like actually having it be part of the build, so I think I'll put a gate there. Do one backwards like this. Okay. And then... Oh, there we go. A corner piece that snaps just like that into the back of the uh, cabin right there. That's almost perfect. And then that piece right there. Awesome! Well, sometimes snapping does actually work out, guys. Look at that. Do a save here. Just because I'm very happy with how that came out. Is that a corner piece? No. Okay, so maybe this wall won't take up too much of the build area. Um, it's going a lot faster than I expected. Uh, does this building actually have a back door? Hmm. It's actually got a couple of areas back here. Let's get rid of the bed that's back there, though. I don't see any doors in the back. Yeah, just lots of holes that we're going to have to fill. So, what I'll do, turn off snapping again. Let's just get this big piece right into this corner. Make sure we're not clipping through. Okay, looks good.
And yeah, I'll make this building part of the wall. And to access this stuff back here, I'll just uh, have a gate over here, I think. I really like these smaller doorways. I think these right here are from a mod, but they might be in one of the DLCs now, too. I think they were actually in-game, you just couldn't build them. Not guaranteeing that, though. Because, after all, if, when you're playing with mods, you know, constantly, I don't play without them, otherwise my uh, settlements would get deleted from the missing objects. But when you're playing with mods for so long, it can be kind of tough to figure out which stuff is official and which stuff came from a mod or a mod update. Okay. Let's go back into workshop mode here. And let's just scrap all of this stuff. Any plants through here are going to get scrapped because... Yeah, this is going to be the foundation of our command tower. Command, not bunker, I guess. Not really a tower either, though. To be honest, guys, I'm not quite sure what it's going to be. Let's see what I can build, though. Let's go to structures, and then... Let's look at the Homemaker mod first, because I heard that in Homemaker's newest update, they have actually, despite the description right there, done navigational meshing for almost all of these pieces, so the AI can, in theory, now use basically all of them. Close to all of them. At least. Okay, so we have the brick buildings. That would make a pretty cool command bunker. But I'm not sure how I could excuse it being brick in the middle of a co-op. I've done a couple of builds recently where I basically just wrote my own backstory for why it existed. You know, the uh, fake mountain and the underground vault being pre-war for Ten Pines Bluff. And uh, for my castle mod, not my settlement creation, but the actual mod that I made for the NVIDIA contest, I had it set up as a pre-war museum, which is why the entrance was so, you know, fancy. For this, though, it would be cool to actually just use stuff like the concrete to build a bunker. Let me see if I can get this to line up. Okay. Now if I turn snapping back on, will it snap? Not yet it looks like. Okay. I will line it up manually. And it's snapping now, but I think I'm also going to go ahead and raise this floor up. Because I don't use mods like, um, what is it called? Uh, spring cleaning. To do things like delete the bushes, just because I'm already using so many mods. I really prefer to avoid using mods that delete things like plants in the base uh, cells or areas of the game. I'm just trying to think ahead a little bit and just, if I'm going to use so many workshop mods, you know, try not go overboard with stuff like spring cleaning. I was honestly expecting my save game to get corrupted by this point, but despite some broken mods, some broken patches, tons of DLCs, um, broken updates for Fallout 4 Script Extender, all that stuff. Uh, I've been quite impressed with how this engine has actually handled my mod collection. I haven't really lost anything. Do 
Do we have the option for rounded floors? I don't think we do. Let's see. Go past all these blocks. Okay. Just the metal parts. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering what I am doing here, and to be honest, I again, I'm thinking out loud, so I'm not 100% sure myself, but I have this rough idea of um, some kind of military-style bunker that could be laid out by the Minutemen after they decided to turn the farm into the boot camp. So lots of concrete, but uh, pretty simple shapes. What do we have for walls here? Okay. So those rounded pieces work like that. They actually need the floor to connect with it. So I am going to have to put down the uh, rounded floors wherever I actually want there to be a um, rounded corner. It is definitely so much faster to skip through all this stuff with all of the icons spinning constantly. Okay. So perhaps some kind of turrets on the corners. could be interesting. Let's add some wall pieces to that and see how it looks, guys. I might just add one more floor section to this too. For kind of a front entrance way. Yeah, let's see. Okay, cool, it snaps to the outside. So this actually isn't a shape that's technically supposed to be possible. Glad I have lots of concrete, guys. Now I could use place everywhere to kind of glitch it through like that. Actually, that appears to just snap by itself. Okay. That's the angled doorway. Got a classic doorway here. Put that there. We have the half walls, which can go here and here. I just need to bring this up some to where I could still possibly fit through the door. Okay. That could work. It's 
scoot that up just a bit. Oops, I think I have the rotation lock turned on, so I'll just leave that staircase B for now. Do I even want windows on the first floor? He said as he installed windows on the first floor. Let's go ahead and put a staircase in front. What was that snap with that piece? Not even close. Yeah, this feels pretty imposing. Definitely want those rounded walls all the way down, though, for supports. Is it going to snap? Of course it's not going to snap. Well, again, that'll have to be something that I can uh, come back and fix later, guys, because it'll take a while to glitch position stuff under there. But you guys know me. I am not going to leave stuff floating. So what I'm essentially doing here is building a castle, a modern Minutemen castle, to watch over the training camp. Let's go for the second floor here. That's the rooftops. I think we actually have a uh, second floor piece. Yes, we do. It is trying to snap to a little bit of everything. Let's see if I can rotate that so it's lined up. There we go. Now the question is going to be, where can my staircase be? Perhaps right here in the center? I guess off center works too. And that'll get me access up here so I can uh, place down these rounded floor pieces that we need to finish off the tower pieces. Okay, that's looking good. Just trying to get that to snap right there. There we go. To the lower part. This again with the weird snapping.
Yeah, I'm just gonna work with the thin floors first. Okay. Now, ideally, we do want the snapping to be um, this higher piece right here and not the lower piece because, as you guys can see, we've already got some pieces that are sharing the same uh, z-axis, which is the up and down axis, which causes them to flicker noticeably. So to avoid that, we want to have it up just like that. Now, it shouldn't matter here in the corners because these are going to have wall pieces that cover them up from the top so you won't actually be able to see the flickering at all For once here, guys, the snapping is actually pretty useful. I tend to freehand a lot of stuff with place everywhere, but seeing I'm creating a certain kind of structure here, this is actually, yeah, pretty useful indeed. I'll go ahead and put a piece down there. Um... And we're going to do some windows up here, too. Just wanted to get one last piece of flooring down first. Lots of snap points that it's trying to hit here. So that'll have a slight step down, but that's okay. Oh. I don't need the curve pieces there. Do a save here. Just to be safe. Okay, now back to the floors. I'm gonna use some thinner floors here. And let's go all the way to the end <laughs> again. And we'll grab these round pieces. One for there. And one for there. And then these two right here. Can we still actually... Yep. There we go. Oh yeah, we can definitely put our power reactor in here too. Maybe even two of them on this top floor. This would be a very solid place to hide them, that's for sure. Now we just need the last couple of walls on this side. Do one here. And here, and here. Half wall here. Actually, what did that snap to? I'd like it to snap to the wall below, so let me move this one aside first, as well as this one. There it goes. Now I can put these back. Everything's looking even along the tops. Okay, good. Do the same thing for this side, move these two aside. 
like that to snap right onto the outer wall like that and then this one here and now if you'll just go where you belong was that it? Let's take a look from the outside. Okay, what happened here? Gotta make sure we're lined up. That looks good. I'll push that back just a bit. And this staircase right here, guys, is gonna be temporary. I have a much smaller concrete staircase that I want to use. Yeah, this is seriously imposing. I'm still trying to decide if I want those windows on the ground floor. I think the answer is going to be no. We'll get some lights in here soon, but for now, this is fine. There we go. Get that lined up just right. So what that leaves is the jump up to our rooftop section, which I might use place everywhere to create a top defensive turret system where I take these curved pieces and just slightly uh, glitch them down a bit to create like half sized or half height curves so that there's cover but you can still shoot over them down below. And I have successfully gone completely past the second floor floors that I was looking for. Back we go. There you are. Hmm. Can't place the floors just yet because we have this gap here. Let's get that fixed. There we are. Go around to this side and do the same. Now we can put that floor back. Make sure it's facing the correct way. And look at that. The roof access has almost lined up. Just needs a slight step up, maybe. It's hard to say. Yeah, rooftop access. Speaking of which, we're going to have to repair the roof. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so now I can finally place those floors that I was going to back here. Maybe. There we go. I'll start it back here then. And I want the next staircase to be going up right there, so I'm going to leave that floating for a second. Put the next staircase in like that. Let's see, is that floating? Just a bit. If I raise this piece up uh, too high, it's going to be impossible to actually walk into it from below. Let's see. Oh no. That's 
it's actually working out just fine. Okay. Again, I'm gonna keep thinking out loud here. I want these pieces here. And then we'll take a couple of these smaller pieces and connect it right here. I want the texture up here facing the same direction so from down below all of the concrete pieces also face in the same direction. That's going to leave our circle sections. Oh wow, we are pretty high up here, guys. Thankfully, I haven't hit a build ceiling just yet because I'm not sure where the one actually is here at Sunshine Tidings. Get out of the way so I can snap. Thank you. And I'll just let that one float, float, sit on top. And <laughs> I just grabbed the floor that I was jumping onto. Perfect. Do that one. And that one. Move this again. Next up, guys, I'm going to show you what I was talking about for the half wall sections. What I'm going to try and do. And uh, I'm going to have to look at my place everywhere commands here in a second. I want to take this and lower it down, but doing it one unit at a time is going to be crazy. So let me tab out here for a second. And uh, you know what? I might go ahead and do a couple of these and then I'll show you guys how I did it. See, I have to break here and look at the controls anyway. Alright, I'll be right back. And we're back guys. And I have placed a reactor in here so I can actually see what I'm doing. Let me hop up to the top floor again. And you guys can see what I was talking about. I'm working on these upper turrets, basically. And how I'm doing that is I'm using the Place Everywhere mod to change the movement side to 5. And I'm just. No, actually, it was 10. Just getting them to where I want them to be. I think that's 30 units down total. Yep, that looks even. And there's one more thing you have to do when you clip an object into another like that. Again, yep, those polygons are sharing the exact same surface, so I'm going to go down to a 0.5 movement amount and just move those top ones ever so slightly so they won't flicker. And all that leaves now are the front defenses and the side defenses. Do I want to actually... Oh yeah, and you guys can also see that I added some extra metal platforms around like this. So that... Hop down here. Wow, no fall damage. Anyway... <laughs> That way we have this nice little platform right there for extra walking space up top. Now let me go on up here. Let's see if these snap like this. I should be able to do the same thing with the uh, clipping. 
up here. That would just snap. Okay. Let's bring it back up to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 12 units down for each one. And that might block our window. Let me see. Uh, yeah, but that kind of creates some very cool firing ports. I actually like that a lot. That is going to stay, guys. Minus the flickering. We'll fix that in a minute. Unintended side effect. Not bad. I'll put one there and there. So 12 units again. And then we'll bring it down to half a unit and just scoot. And then lock. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Just half a unit each to prevent the flickering. Put that there. Wait. How did this end up like that? Oh no, do I have uneven walls? No? Why won't you snap back here? There you go. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Let's go back to 10. And down it goes again. And this time it should actually be even on both sides. I want this to be symmetrical after all this work. There we go. And thanks to that half unit shift in each direction, we can also avoid flickering. Locked and locked. Really liking those firing ports. That is sweet. Oh, and I guess you could actually use a real door right here, couldn't you? I'll put a wooden stair there, not a concrete one. Seeing that's the connecting piece. I guess the general's quarters would be in this somewhere too. Just not quite sure where. It's a bit cramped. And this is set up as kind of like a defensive tower too. Yeah, I guess my quarters won't be in this, guys. Maybe I'll make this my quarters in here. You know, minus the ghouls. I mean, that would kind of make sense, although this would also make a great classroom. Anything I ah. can do to help out around? Now I'm really undecided, guys. So I'll leave the idea of my quarters for another time. Yes. You guys vote in the comments. Should this metal building be converted into the classroom section or into the general's you know quarters? Because I really can't decide. I could always build myself my own custom cabin somewhere around here. I was looking too, guys. I think the shooting range is going to be set up somewhere right here aimed actually at this cabin because of the backstop right here in the hillside, which means that this guard post is going to have to get moved and that entrance will have to be like a emergency entrance if the shooting range is aimed basically at this cabin. And of course, that cabin's going to have to be abandoned too, which will leave us one, two, three, four, I think, cabins left. 
Is there a fourth one? Yeah, there's a fourth one. Okay. And if this is the parade ground... Hmm. We'll have to move the farming stuff around just a bit. And this is obviously the cafeteria. Just needs some repairing. Where could my house go, guys? Ooh, you know what would yeah. be really cool? Now that I'm thinking about it, is if I used a uh, homemaker to make a small brick house. Something that we could actually get the resources to build. And placed it somewhere... Over here, maybe? Ooh. Big frame drop right there. It could go next to the parade field and this shed right here. Alright guys, let's take a break from the castle for a minute. <laughs> the castle. The defensive tower, I guess. And let's just kind of... Framework this idea. So here's the foundation pieces. So if I use that rock like this. This would be almost a colonial style general's quarters. It would definitely be brick. I'm just deciding what kind of outside windows I want. Let's not go too crazy on the windows. Let's have a back wall without any. And I know I said vote in the comments, guys, but uh, I'm liking this idea. But I won't put too much work into it, so if you guys really don't like it, I can just uh, scrap it and move on. Turn back around. I think I'll put a front porch on it too, looking out over the parade field. Like I said, don't want to go too crazy, just in case you guys hate it, but uh, let's see. Oh, I'm just realizing that this... corner piece has brick on the inside. So that's the outside corner piece. We want the one that has the brick on the outside, which would be this one. Oh, that has windows. There we go. Brick on the outside and plaster on the inside. Now how is this actually snapping? Is that snapping over the floor edge? Yeah, it is. I don't like that. I prefer it to be aligned with the floor. And of course that stupid rock's going to annoy me. I'll have to cover that with some furniture if I keep this. Is there a window that better matches that one? That's the corner. Corner again. Kind of like the boxy shape, though. Let's just stick with that boxy shape for now. Oh, yeah, there we go. That window actually matches, but still looks pretty fancy. What do we have for stairs? All kinds of trim pieces. Oh yeah, these nice wood stairs. 
I do want to put a front porch on it, though. I'll just leave that for now. So, what would the rooftop look like? I want it to be... pretty tall, like this one. Is that going to look correct from the outside? Yeah. Oh, these aren't quite clipping together. If we do that... Okay, guys, I'm trying to spitball ideas here, but uh, the clipping is throwing me off. I wonder if one of the barn roofs would actually look pretty good on this old-style house. Like a, I don't know, tin roof of some kind? It might. That one just looks kind of silly, being that steep. I would have to use place everywhere, but look at that, I can. Just turn snapping off. Get that into the corner. Snapping back on. And let's just see how a little roof would look like this. Well, kind of goofy actually. Okay, let's try another piece. Let's try... I think we have flat pieces too. Yeah, we do. Okay. So what I'm imagining, guys... Roof platform. That's cool. What I'm imagining... Is a back wall that looks like this. And I think we have the filler pieces that we can use on this. And that would give us room for a front porch that actually had a connected roof, too. Again, just spitballing, so I'm just going to throw this out there. See how it looks. Burn through more wood. <laughs> like I do. That could actually have a hole in it make it look more interesting. And I think we have filler pieces, don't we? There's the outhouses. Is it under walls? Yeah, there we go. There's the filler pieces. We have tons of them, actually. Well, that's not quite snapping like it's supposed to, but... That blends okay. And I could put... One of these uh, floors like this up here to seal the rooftop in. And then this could be our front porch pieces right here. Just put that there for now. Okay. Well, you guys get the idea. That's, again, just a outline of a possible general's quarters, something with brick and wood and like a front porch. Almost colonial style. But that might make more sense than trying to cram me into this metal building in here, which would be useful for classrooms. Or trying to cram me into the castle here. <laughs> I'm already calling it the castle. The mini castle. 
Okay. Speaking of which, let's put our last few pieces here because we are running out of time for building today. This actually snap it all. Yeah, okay. I just don't want to block the downstairs windows too much. Firing ports or no. Okay, so that does need to actually shift. Three units. I guess that would be 30 units this way. Hey, but then it snaps. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be an issue, guys, because it takes up too much of our firing port. So I might add, like, a uh, platform or something up here. That's more like it. Yeah, if I add some kind of platform where people could shoot over these walls if they really needed to, that would be an acceptable solution, I think. Okay, let's just lower that down. Trying to remember how many units it was now, I'll just have to kind of match it visually. Oh, come on, snap, don't fail me now. Well, <laughs> manually it is. I haven't quite decided what I want to do with this part of the platform out here, guys. Might just put a guard tower up here. But I might build more uh, kind of turrets like this, too. Yeah, this is one solid, solid structure for sure. Got our small firing slits down here. And I just need to look at the front stairs and then I'm going to come back and again add supports and all to these towers, but... Wow, that is a monolithic looking structure. Seeing something flickering there. Let me just... Move one of these out like that. Okay. Do a save. Let's put a piece of stairs down and then and call it quits for today because I got some cleanup to do on this thing. I think those thick stairs might be under uh, snap and build. No? question is, where did my snap and build menu go? There you are. Yeah, real estate, stairs. This is going to have tons of wooden options, but I think somewhere in here we've got those concrete stairs too. And miscellaneous for the greenhouse. No, nothing there. Greenhouse pipes. I thought it would be under real estate stairs. These are kind of cool though. And they fit a bit better than the concrete ones that clip into the ground. Now if I can just center them. I 
think to wrap things up for today, guys, before I start working on some offline cleanup of the foundations of this tower. Ooh. That house is looking pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think of that. But uh, to finish off the castle for today, I'm going to place a couple of decorations from one of my mods. You guys can find this on Xbox as well as PC and the Nexus. I'm going to put down a waving Minutemen flag. Then also a waving come and take it flag. And then I'll put the American flag. Hmm. I'll do it in this corner back here. Try and match the wind direction roughly. And finally, one more minute men flag. Cat a corner from the first. I think that'll look pretty good. Well, now that we have the come and take it flag flying, that of course means that we've got to put down some artillery. I feel sorry for anybody down below when this thing goes off. Let's just turn off snapping so I can get it where I want it. All right, guys. Now that is pretty sweet. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, drop your suggestions and uh, comments on the build in the comments down below. I'll be sure to look over those as we continue with the build. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time.